Hello, boys and girls. Um, we're going to attempt to do a lab today. Um, I will set things up for you. Um, I will demonstrate the lab, but if you have the opportunity, you definitely can look uh, do the lab yourself at home. Um, I have already essentially did the write-up for you as a, as a Word document, so you don't have to worry about the problem, the question, the problem slash question, the materials and the procedure. Got that all set up for you. You're just gonna have to, have to add some information in the data as well as your analysis and your conclusion. You will have to do some sketches and some drawings. So for that, just do the sketches and drawings on a sheet of loose leaf, take a picture, scan it to me, um, and we can go from there. Okay, it's a, it's a fun lab, it's an easy lab. Um, if you have the materials, it's actually in your textbook on, give me one second, page. Page 185 of your textbook. So if you wanna take a look at the lab right up and see if you have the materials and attempt the lab on your own, go for it, okay? Go ahead and do that and then you can uh, look at the video afterwards video might not be the greatest, so you might not be able to see the results that well, but we'll give it a try, okay? So we're gonna be making a pinhole camera, and the point of the pinhole camera is to show how it can form an image. The question is, how does a, a pinhole camera work to form an image, okay? And the materials you're going to need for this lab is simply a plastic, or sorry, a styrofoam cup, um, Tim Hortons cups, any sort of cup like that would work, okay? But you do have to be able to puncture a hole into the bottom of the cup. You're gonna need some wax paper, like so. Parchment paper doesn't really work, so wax paper is the best for it. And you're gonna need a rubber band, okay? So I'm just gonna ask my daughter to hold the camera for me in one second here, and I'm gonna actually build the pinhole camera for you. So here we go, this is very, very scientific. Take the wax paper, stick it around the pinhole camera, take the rubber band, stick it around the wax paper, and bada bing, bada boom, we have the uh, pinhole camera made. Perfect, okay? All right. So, uh, what you're going to need, so here's our beautiful pinhole camera, all built and uh, perfectly made, all perfect. What you need to do now is get yourself a lamp, that does not have a lampshade, so I've taken the lampshade off, and it needs to have a light bulb. The swirly little uh, fluorescent light bulbs or compact fluorescent light bulbs would work perfectly fine, but uh, uh, the traditional light bulbs that have the light bulb shape uh, are a little better for this, okay? And what you need to do is take the pinhole camera, okay, like so, and point it with the pin pointed towards the light bulb, and you should see an image on the screen. And this is working extremely well, okay? So you can obviously see the image of the light bulb on the screen, okay? Uh, it's a camera. I had somebody once upon a time tell me they saw a candy cane when they were looking through this. I don't know how they saw that, but you can see clearly the light bulb is there. You move the light bulb closer, you can sort of see something happen. As you move it farther away, you can still see something happen. But there is something very, very unique about this light bulb. And I can see it very well on this video. I'm hoping you can see it very well on this video. But based on what you can see here, you are going to have to go and answer the questions on this lab, okay? So that is it. Um, that is all that you guys need to know right now for this lab. Um, I will post the, uh, the rest of the material on D2L along with this link. Based on what you just saw, you will have to answer those questions.